What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the brand new Nike Tiempo Legacy 3 in the black, white, and gold colorway. The Legacy 3 is the first takedown model in the new Tiempo lineup with a retail price of $130 US, a full $100 cheaper than the top end Legend 7. While the Legacy 3 is technically a takedown model, it still features the exact same kangaroo leather upper that you'll find on the top end Legend 7. So in today's video, I really wanna cover the shoe from a quality perspective, obviously compare it a lot to the top end and far more expensive Legend 7, and essentially determine which one's gonna be the better option for you, and really whether or not the Legend 7 is even worth it when the Legacy is as good as it is. If you're interested in a pair of Legacy 3s for yourself, there'll be a little pop-up on screen or you can click the first link down below in the description that'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find individual buy it now links with exclusive sr4u coupon codes where you'll be able to pick these up below their normal 130 dollars retail so starting off with the upper like i talked about the upper features the exact same kangaroo leather that you're going to find on the top and legend 7 it's also backed by the same internal skeleton support frame but there are some differences with the liner on the inside as well as the heel area which instead of being flying it is actually made from a mesh based synthetic the quality and amount of leather you get on the legacy 3 is awesome you can see it spans from this point right here on the lateral side all the way through the four foot toe box area and then cuts off basically two-thirds of the way through the midfoot which is pretty much all the parts of the upper that you would want to be leather again the quality is pretty much identical to what you'll find on the top end Legend 7. And in comparison to other premium quality kangaroo leather boots out there, it's as good as anything. So despite the lower cost, the quality is not taking a hit here. As far as touch on the ball is concerned, it provides that excellent soft, natural sensation you would expect from a premium leather upper not too thick not too thin and if you've never worn a leather shoe before this is definitely a good starter boot because the feel that this has on offer is top notch underneath the kangaroo leather you'll find the internal skeleton support frame which is what's adding all this texture to the surface of the upper. Essentially that support frame is there to reinforce the kangaroo leather material. That's why you're not gonna find any stitching across the entire upper. And basically it does a really good job of giving you that structure without taking away from the softness, flexibility, and just general natural sensation of the leather upper. When you put this shoe on your foot, you don't notice that there's any structure there. But once you start running around making those quick changes of direction, you'll find that this is a much more responsive shoe than what you'll find from something else that just has a straight up kangaroo leather upper with standard stitching reinforcement. The second part of the upper is found towards the heel and midfoot area on the lateral side. This is a mesh based synthetic as you guys can see up close not a flyknit mace like you'll find on the top end Legend 7, but honestly, is that noticeable when the shoes are on your feet? Given that this is the more structured area of the shoe anyways, you have an internal plastic heel counter after all at the heel. Honestly, the difference is pretty much non-existent on feet in comparison to the Legend 7 in this area of the foot. This is just as effective as the Flyknit, and with a blindfold on, you would not be able to tell a difference. Flywire cables are also used on the top three lacing positions on both the lateral and medial side of the Legacy 3, just like the Legend 7. So you'll find that when you pull the laces tight, it pulls on these Flywire cables that basically run on an angle into the base of the sole, really doing a good job of securing your midfoot, as well as locking your heel in place at the back of the shoe, giving a lot of added structure and stability that you wouldn't necessarily expect from a shoe that has an upper as soft as this one does. The lacing system runs through the middle of the shoe as you can very clearly see, and also what's distinctively different coming from the Legend 7 is the fact that this does not have a fly-knit tongue. Instead, the tongue is a mesh-based material with memory foam strips running all the way through the middle, giving you a really nice premium feel. Honestly, if they use this tongue on the Legend 7, I would not be upset. And you're also gonna find that there's two elastic straps on the either side of the tongue that secure it to the base of the sole so it's not gonna slide from side to side when you're actually running around, which is a nice little feature. Just like the rest of the models in the lineup, the Tiempo Legacy 3 does feature a low cut construction. So pretty straightforward in that regard, and it should be a familiar feel to you, unless you've only ever worn a mid cut boot. Notably absent features coming from the Legend 7 is of course the fit mesh lining in the four foot toe box area. That adds a little bit of extra structure to the upper that you just don't get on the Legacy 3. Although the structure provided by the standard nylon liner on this shoe 
is perfectly sufficient. There's no issues with this at all. Obviously the fly knit tongue like we talked about, and of course being a takedown model, ACC all conditions control, your wet control element is not a feature on the Legacy 3. But again, I think that's more of a gimmicky thing as opposed to something that you're actually gonna notice when wearing the shoes. The heel liner is a lot less padded than what you'll find on the Legend 7, but equally as premium feeling overall with the synthetic suede at the back and then the synthetic leather on either side with a decent amount of padding. The insole is fully removable and a little bit different than what you'll find from the Legend 7. It features a standard mesh lining on top. It's a single layer of this gray foam with a decent thickness to it. You can see the cutouts there where the pour on inserts would normally be, but unlike the Legend 7, the Legacy 3 does not have those. Standard insole, it gets the job done. Unlike the Legend 7, the Legacy 3 does not feature the new hyper stability sole plate. Although it is new in comparison to previous Tiempo generations, it's a very similar design and honestly very similar feel on feet. This being a more flexible TPU plastic material. So that would be the main characteristic difference that you'll notice from the Legend to the Legacy is that this sole plate does feel a little bit softer. The new stud pattern is consistent across the entire new Tiempo line, of course being kind of the standard layout with the conical studs in the forefoot, but with the addition of some more mercurial-esque bladed studs at the tip of the toe, and then obviously you maintain bladed studs in the heel, you get those, those chevron style studs at the very back as well. Overall, it's kind of like what we've gotten from previous generations of Tiempo in regards to overall performance, but with a little bit more aggression when pushing off and accelerating for a sprint. It's a nice change, honestly, I don't mind it at all. Some people may like something a little bit more traditional than this, but for me, and I think for a lot of players, they're not gonna have any issues with this stud pattern. And honestly, I think the little bit of extra aggression really goes nicely with the overall responsive feel that you get from this shoe, given the style of boot that it is. In terms of weight, the Legacy 3 in a size 9.5 US weighs in at 7.1 ounces, which in comparison to the Tiempo Legend 7 is pretty much identical. So there isn't a weight difference between the two. And as a whole, for a shoe of this style, these are a lot lighter than you might expect pretty much on par weight-wise with stuff like the Nike Mercurial Superfly 5 and the Magista Obra 2. Visually, I think the Legacy 3 looks pretty good. It's very similar looking to the Legend 7. It's got the same kangaroo leather upper, so it's very similar in that regard. The mesh-based synthetic instead of the fly knit looks pretty much identical as well, especially from a distance. The sole plate admittedly does look a little bit cheaper, but that's not something you're really gonna see all that much when you're actually playing in the shoes. And again, overall, I think it has a nice premium vibe to it as it should at $130. It's definitely cheaper than the Legend, but certainly not a cheap shoe overall. And as far as the colorway is concerned, the black, white, and gold, always a nice color combination in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. As you can see on the right boot, I swapped out the stock black laces for some metallic gold reflective SR4U replacement laces. If you're interested in a pair of replacement laces for yourself, the website to go to is www.sr4ulaces.com. If you're interested in a pair, there'll be a little pop-up on screen as well as a link down below in the description. So be sure to go ahead and check that out. On feet, the Legacy 3 is a very comfortable shoe. Out of the box comfort is excellent. Minimal break-in time required. Heel lockdown is very good. The leather upper, as you would expect, is soft against your feet. The skeleton support frame, while it does its part to reinforce the leather upper, is not something that's really noticeable when you're actually wearing the shoes. You just feel the softness of the leather. And as far as how it restricts the leather upper from stretching, it will prevent it from overstretching to a certain extent. Still getting the right size is very, very important. You never want a leather shoe to be too big on your feet because that will lead to more potential for the shoes to overstretch. But given that you get a nice snug fit out of the box, it's not something that should be an issue at all. And it still will allow the upper to stretch ever so slightly and form to the exact shape of your foot as any other leather shoe would. As far as width is concerned, they've got some decent width to them. And honestly, after some break in time, I think they're gonna be suitable for just about anybody, even if you do have wider feet. And as far as sizing is concerned, they run about a half size small, just like previous generations of Tiempos. So instead of my usual size nine US, I bump it up to a 9.5 US and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going a half size up in order to achieve the best possible fit. So that is pretty much it guys from my review of the Tiempo Legacy 3. Should you buy the Legend 7 over the Legacy 3? Is it worth the extra $100? I'll say that I do prefer the Legend 7. I think that it is a better shoe overall in terms of the small little extra features that you get 
like the fit mesh liner. The sole plate feels that much more premium. I really like the heel liner on uh, the Legend 7 as well. But other than those little things, there isn't a huge difference between this and that top end shoe. So if you're just looking for the best possible value, for sure the Legacy 3 is the way to go. And if you're asking me in all honesty, I really don't think there's a huge performance difference between the two. As much as I love the Legend 7, I would be just as happy to wear the Legacy 3. Again, if you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, it's the first link down below in the description. That'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. We will be able to pick these guys up below their normal $130 retail price. If you have any questions regarding this shoe, as always, leave them down below in the comments and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. And other than that guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.